Generally, if you're going to use some type of diagnostic equipment, which is the quickest way of looking at something, you look at three here, it says defective uh, speed sensor, uh, sensor 1A. Okay. Now, I had a look at it, and I checked the cables and everything else like I showed you. This is the sensor here, and uh, I did a uh, resistance check, and the resistance, okay, according to the manual, okay, that's 1.7 thereabouts which is good enough a little bit of melted head but that wasn't the case of uh, what was wrong with it diagnostic machines are only limited to uh, what they uh, the dtcs they read depends on the system um, this one here it has cables as well uh, which are in line from the ecu uh, to the wheel speed sensor um, uh, most vehicles will have this uh, plug somewhere along the line and a fly lead Sometimes these connectors, they go um, corroded and you get a uh, bad voltage signal. You can see here, this one's actually okay. Um, what the problem with the, uh, the trailer in this case was uh, a corroded exciter ring and the system, well, the Haldex system, it wouldn't say that it was a mechanical error or uh, the exciter ring faulty or it could say that it wasn't generating uh, enough voltage. So uh, things have to be checked in the system and you have to use some intuition. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do here, I've got a multimeter and I've got some uh, cables. Uh, I've got a, uh, an ABS, EBS uh, wheel speed sensor from a, a trailer. It's a Haldex one, okay. And I've also got a Land Rover Defender um, ABS cable and uh, sensor, yeah. The cable uh, is connected and it's a long one. This is short and I do have fly leads for the uh, um, Wabco and the uh, Haldex systems, okay. These are, I know these are good, all right. Um, what I'll do first of all, I'll just demonstrate. If you uh, didn't understand my last video because the audio was horrendous, basically what I do is I use ghost voltage instead of a beeper to tell me uh, whether I have continuity, okay, so I'll put one of these in the uh, female um, socket and then I'll check, okay, and you should see the multimeter uh, doesn't move, we've got ghost voltage there, and then not, okay, so I'll move that over, and then just check, yep, solid, okay, so uh, this cable is okay, yeah, if you don't get a circuit, it's looking for potential difference uh, on voltage, so if you have no difference that will go to zero, yeah? Alright, as you can see it's almost zero, yeah. Right, so um, there's a few ways to uh, check uh, ABS and EBS sensors. Now this Land Rover one um, took off because the plug was smashed, alright. Now, um, if, for instance, the ABS coil isn't working, okay, that won't, that will just be ghost voltage, okay, but that's good. Generally, what you want to do with an ABS sensor, this is uh, um, a component check with uh, ohms, okay. Now, I'll just show you, okay, so um, putting these together, you always check, make sure your multimeter is working, okay. And then I can do a resistance check on the sensor itself, right? It's generally, okay, so meter's thinking about that. that's 1.8, which, okay, I would say that's about right. Um, wheel speed sensor on this one, which is uh, for heavy goods vehicles or trailers, yeah, it should be about 1.7 because this is an S plus sensor. Okay, so, um, I can get in here and uh, what I was doing was checking continuity for um, for this sensor, okay, and uh, I got open circuit, well that's actually um, not good, there's no resistance in there whatsoever, yeah, so somewhere I thought maybe that I'd uh, not got a proper contact in here, so I've used my uh, extension lead which is a test lead for test purposes and uh, checked again okay no resistance that should be reading about 1.7 yeah that's not at all okay so um this runs from the ecu um and then it will eventually couple up with the uh, sensor okay good way to check if you've got corrosion in this 
Okay, so, uh, but I don't use um, ohms, I use uh, millivolts, okay. So check again, make sure that that's going to near enough zero, yeah. All right, you can see that. And then um, recheck, all right, I know the cable's good. And I've got ghost voltage, so this uh, wheel speed sensor is scuppered, yeah. Okay, so we've got ghost voltage, check again with the multimeter, yeah, we're okay, cables are st uh, still connected, the banana jacks in here are still pushed in broadly, and uh, then I'll try again, yeah, and uh, I can get in here, it's a bit fiddly, but I can get in here, alright, and what do I have here? Just to uh, you can confirm it, I have ghost voltage, yeah, so there's no continuity in this at all. This is um, faulty from new, yeah? Always check components, always check components before you fit them. I mean, for instance, if this was on a trailer where you had to fit it into where the, where the brake drum was, you want to make sure it's all right. Now, I'm using an oscilloscope um, and I sp plug it in here and uh, spin it to make sure I'm getting a, a signal out of here and depending on the strength of uh, what it is it will be depending on whether I pass the sensor or not yeah so just something to remember yeah and like I'm saying um, millivolts and ghost voltage will work in to your advantage yeah okay especially on a small multimeter the oscilloscope has uh, an immense amount of um, pluses compared to a multimeter, but to uh, when you're testing something, a multimeter is good. Yeah, okay, if you know how, if you understand what readings you should be getting. So anyway, I know that sensor is okay at the same, roughly the same readings what this should be. So this again was a completely open circuit. There's something wrong in here. Right then, a little bit extra here, the EBS fault the other day, two DTCs, one was a wheel speed sensor fault and the other one was a power supply uh, issue. Power supply issue happened at around about um, 12,000 kilometres, however the trailer came in at 13,000 odd and it was about 1,000 kilometres afterwards. Now I checked the, uh, the test voltage and running okay at the ECU, that was fine. So it was all right. So what I needed to do was uh, check the near side middle uh, sensor 1A and the disc was faulty and uh, the exciter ring was uh, US. Okay, so uh, I had to uh, change that one. Now I'll show you the uh, the disc here. The exciter ring is actually stuck in the uh, in the disc so you've got to change the whole disc you can see the state of it yeah that was uh bad uh, once i'd fitted it that was uh pretty good yeah um there is an issue with that i'll show you in a minute but um test i showed you this is live uh the resistance on the other side sensor was uh 1.6 uh nearly 1.7 okay so that was okay uh, this was uh, done with my uh, other test lead yeah so uh, doing a ghost voltage check just to show you there's uh, okay continuity obviously otherwise there wouldn't be resistance would there yeah so there you go you see the ghost voltage um, no ghost voltage okay now what i noticed when i fitted the uh, disc and fitted the sensor and turned it you can see where the sensor has uh, rubbed okay and then there's a uh, gap like it's not touching at all yes yeah, so this is slightly warped and uh, this uh, the bolts are uh, done up correctly onto the hub so there's no chance of actually warp the disc it's just the way it's come so i had to get the oscilloscope out and uh, spin the wheel and you can see the height difference okay compared to this uh, offside middle one which uh, the uh, it's a little bit more even so you can see there isn't much uh, variation in the signal height Okay, so uh, the signal is actually a bit weak here, and I did change the sensor on that one as well. Uh, this one, yeah, I, we only just got away with this. There is enough voltage generated there for the uh, ECU to be happy with it. Now, you see where the gaps are there. It's because I had to uh, keep starting and stopping. So uh, what I did is went outside the trailer. Okay, walked round and then grabbed the hub and then uh, turned it at a constant speed. So yeah, just hang on a minute and you'll see what signal I got. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is only just it really acceptable if, uh, for instance, the light to come on with it doing it on a road test would have had to have uh, changed the disc and put another one on.
Before you ask, this is an Elsa 2 uh, axle system, which is ROR, or Rubbish on Road, Meritor. Um, the fleet is plagued with uh, rotten uh, sensors because they park the trailers down at the docks, so they get all sorts of corrosion issues.